In today's episode, a Mustang will jump scare you. The sky will turn black. And a Jeep will be blue. During this year's Goodwood Festival of Speed Hill Climb Competition, a Mark 1 Jaguar was doing a run until the rear left wheel simply fell off. The wheel bounced over the hail bales into the crowd and hit a group of people. However, there were no injuries and after a quick check at the hospital, everyone affected got back to the track and enjoyed the rest of the event. If we slow down the footage, you can see how close to something much worse this incident was. And just to give you a sense of how dangerous a detached wheel can be, during this year's Indy 500, a wheel literally flew over the catch fence and destroyed a spectator's car. The organizers bought a new car for the owner, by the way. GG! Miatas that are heavily used on track often need hub upgrades, especially since Miata owners like to put super sticky tires on those cars. Here's a second gen Miata losing the rear right hub. and a third generation Miata. Wheel. Also, here's a replay from the Corvette that was following it. Drifting eats tires very quickly. You know what eats tires even quicker? All-wheel drive drifting, or power sliding, or whatever you call it. Either way, it is one of the cooler ways to drive cars. In this case, a classic Super Impreza. And a slightly more modern one, which by now is like 15 years old, I think. Hey. 700 horsepower in a Honda Civic sounds like a lot. 700 horsepower in a Honda Civic that has nothing left that makes it look like Honda Civic sounds like someone doesn't value his own life. Meet the all-wheel drive 762 horsepower EXO Civic. Here's a safety car crash that never happened, according to a official statement. For legal reasons, this video is AI generated and is not real. All virtually generated drivers were okay, by the way. Ahem, <clears throat> 1984. Recovering from a brake failure in a car that can actually turn is relatively easy when you compare it to a brake failure in a car that has the turning radius of a container ship. That's what makes this safe at the Auckland Invasion 2019 extra impressive. You know what is one of the more stupid dream cars of mine? Pretty much any small single-seater Formula car. Just like this, Formula Mazda equipped with a 180 horsepower carbureted Mazda 13B rotary engine. The racing is also pretty close, and it's relatively cheap. Here is one for the gamers, a 10 year old video showing a BMW PC case, of course with Tokyo Drift music. But since Tokyo Drift will get this video copyright striked, I will ask the editor to kindly add different music. This is a video that sparks joy. A Daihatsu Mira that used to be all-wheel drive, however now has only a real-wheel drive. You know where this is going. Here is something that just hurts to watch. A Factory 5 Cobra getting pushed on the track, when the Mustang that it has been chasing decides to let him pass. However, it doesn't go exactly as planned. The driver was okay by the way.
modern F1 cars don't sound that bad to be honest, especially those powered by Honda. Another episode, another low power drift hero. This 115 horsepower Miata going sideways thanks to its violent but gentle driver. You know you have a lot of traction when you attempt to do a burnout to warm up your tires and you accidentally do a wheelie. You know you have even more traction when you do that on a normal street, not a prepped racetrack. This turbocharged forward Mustang Fox body does exactly that. My favorite racing series? Spec Miata Racing. Because having 50 cars with the same amount of power leads to stuff like this. Do you own a Honda Civic? Do you want to make it sound like it has a supercharger? Ok, hear me out then. The reverse gear in almost every Civic is straight cut. And we all know how that sounds. Ever wondered if certain Hot Wheels cars could even drive? Sometimes the dimensions just don't make no sense. Well, there is this 1967 Chevelle that looks like a car that you would see in a pre-war Mickey Mouse cartoon. This is the power of diesel. Every minute this car runs, the global water level rises by 1 cm. Ok, I know it's not that fast, but the editor will surely fix that. Here's a scary crash that got close to super scary. Two drivers that just touched the grass on the exit of a curve, but somehow they managed to avoid contact with each other, but not the ball. On curvy, public roads never go full beans. If you want to go and test yourself and your car's limits, go to the racetrack. Don't do what this C8 Corvette owner did. Will. Attention, especially for those that love cute cat videos. Here is something that sounds even cuter. A Honda Civic powered by a supercharged K24 engine. <laughs> But, don't be fooled, those drag tires in the front are there for a reason. Here's our next candidate for the lowest quality car video on the internet. A comment said that if I had a dollar for every pixel in this video, I'd have 50 cents. <laughs> By the way, on my second channel I started a car meme review series. Feel free to check it out here. Thank you for watching. What the car review now?